Oh, thanks to still those six races, then it's another three mile hurdle for me to come back with. It's the Craig Allen maiden this time, and at the top we've got a Spectus Nardis for Thomas Rogers, Evident Pride, Matt Cooper, Galaxy Craig Beckwith, Kingsdale Grounds, David Robertson, Supreme Court, Obi Wan, Walton Mountain, Padre Hogan, Kata Chaos for Darren Thompson, Dance Around the Stars, Joshua Sutherland, Tessa Sanderson, Paul Rhodes, and Warm Light, David Hooley. Uh, away we go and racing then. I'm sure I've probably got the name of Darren Thompson's horse wrong, but I'll put me right on the forums, I'm sure. And it's Aspectus Nardis, who's the first one to show. I'm talking about, I've probably got quite a few of them wrong so far already. We're only on day two. Anyway, Aspectus Nardis is in the lead. Then Waterton Mountain, but they're pretty tightly packed with the exception of this leader. They're racing downhill at the moment towards the first of the 12 flights, which they've all successfully negotiated. And Aspectus Nardis is in the lead from Kingsdale Grounds, who's just moved through into second in the yellow cap with the turquoise and the purple hoops. And those now drop back into the pack. As I've said, that just the back marker is evident pride. No more than half a dozen lengths off the leader. 12 flights to take in this. They've already taken the first one. Racing towards the second. Well, yeah, Spectus Nardis, the current leader, and another set of new colours for Paul Rhodes. It's Tessa Sanderson, he's already got Fatima Whitbread. Well, I think ran yesterday as they get to the second. I get over that one, so maybe that's his latest craze. Lady Javelin Throwers. We had all the lady newsreaders about ten seasons ago, didn't we? I think we had lady detectives as well. Now we've got Lady Javelin Throwers. And it's a Spectus Nardis who's in front from Catacaos in second. Warton Mountain, Kingsdown Grounds is still there. They're very closely grouped, with the exception of the leader and the back marker, really. And the rest of them were virtually in a line as they got over the third flight. A Spectus Nardis in the green jacket in front for Thomas Rogers. Then Tessa Sanderson for Paul Rhodes. We have Supreme Court for everyone on the inside. And Dance Around the Stars in the Dennis the Menace black and red hoops for Joshua Sutherland. Kingsdale grounds in the turquoise and maroon hoops of David Robertson as they get over the next. Closest to us, Cat of Chaos or Darren Thompson in the maroon with the white sleeves. The same colours but with navy blue instead of maroon is Craig Beckwith and that's Galaxy. Waterton Mountain for Padraig Hogan. Closest to us in the yellow there alongside David Hoodies. Purple jacketed warm light, the one that went past them at that point was evident pride. As they get over the next and still learning the new colours, I don't know whether that's a new colours for somebody or whether it's a new trainer. It's a Spectus Nardis who's in the lead. I mean, Matt Cooper couldn't it as they get over that next one. Warm light, just the back marker. It's a Spectus Nardis coming up past the Stands in the lead from Cata Chaos in second. And then Kingsdale Grounds and Warden Mountain. Supreme Court is next. And then Dance around, Dance around the Stars, Evident Pride. Galaxy. Tessa Sanderson has just dropped back a little bit. And Warm Light is now the back marker as they race momentarily downhill. Not a stiff uphill climb to the finish with the Spectus Nardis. Still in the lead. Been in the lead all the way so far, just about a three length lead. Cat of Chaos in second as they get over the seventh. A mistake towards the back by Galaxy. I see that one just shuffle towards the back of the pack now, sharing last spot with evident pride, but it's Aspectus Nardis who's got the lead. We've got a warm light. Going well for David Hooley. We've already seen David Hooley have a three mile hurdle winner today. Has he got another? Potential stable star in the in this one as they race into the final mile. And I expect us now this has been in the lead all the way. Warm light looms on the outside. Bit of a gap to Catacals and Supreme Court and Kingsdale Grounds and Warburton Mountain and Dance Around the Stars and Tessa Sanderson are all virtually together. Bit of a gap then to Galaxies recovered from that mistake and evident pride is just the back marker. About five or six lengths now, finding the pace a little bit hot, but warm light has gone on as a Spectus Nardis 
gives way and starts to drop through the field. It's warm light into the ninth. Gets over it well, I expect it. No, just jumped to one on the inside now. Coming back with a second wind. Well, it looks to be going well on the outside. It's dance around the stars. There's plenty in with chances. The leader's there to be shot at, but with it being a David Hooney hurdling, you think it will take a bit of getting by. And it's warm light in the lead. Warm light by two to dance around the stars and the Spectres and Artists. Galaxy is making really good ground on the outside, and you've got to wonder where that one would be if it hadn't made that bad mistake and get over a third last. And a little bit slower at this time was warm light. Galaxy and dance around the stars. And Tessa Sanderson, the three of them running wide on the track, but coming through the channel. Water Mountains also tracking them, so too is Cata Chaos, but Warm Light has still got the lead, got the rail, and is being pushed along, leading by two. To Galaxy in second. Dance around the stars is third. These three have now pulled clear over the second last they go. And it's a slightly better jump by Dance Around the Stars, but he's got nowhere to go. He's boxed in on the inside. And Joshua Sutherland will be tearing his hair as his jockey's got himself boxed in. But Galaxy takes it up. Galaxy takes it up over the final flight. Galaxy lands in the lead. Now Dance Around the Stars is trying to close, but got himself boxed in for so long and it's cost him the race. And Galaxy's gonna take it. Galaxy wins it. Dance Around the Stars is second ball like third. Tessa Sanderson for them. Supreme Court cut a chaos, didn't really get going. Evident Prime was the last one to finish. And a very interesting race because you could say that Dance Around the Stars was unlucky because he got itself boxed in, but you could also say that if Galaxy hadn't have made that mistake, it would have been further clear. So probably a fair result all in all. Galaxy for Craig Beckwith takes it. Dance Around the Stars for Joshua Sword and Second. I'm sure they'll both be winning plenty more races this season. Warm Light for David Hooney was third. And Tessa Sanderson for Paul Rose fourth, with Supreme Court for Obi-Wan in fifth.